What's up guys? Northern Lights here here and I am bringing you a reading today talking about how this big shift that we're going through that we are experiencing currently with all these retrogrades with the equinox okay the equinox is the big biggest deal here um <clears throat> and going into Libra season. So, but the equinox is the big role, the big player here. Um, the equinox is bringing big energy. And what came to me today is how it's affecting the twin flame soulmate journeys out there. And so, as you can see, I have some cards pulled out. I was guided directly by spirit on what to pull. And so this is a lot of energy. So the first thing that spirit showed me in my mind, I just saw 111 and 112, which 112 is significant to me in my journey, is this yin yang card here. This equinox is helping us to balance out our light and our dark, our masculines and our feminines, um, the sun and the moon, right? And it's bringing it into perfect harmony, into balance. And it's all done through synchronicities. That's how we manage to put together the messages from the divine. And put together the pieces of the puzzle. This right here is all pieces to this puzzle. And it's, I just heard it's coming together. Take that how you like, okay? But this card says, thank you angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. So these are the signs that the divine sends to you. I just saw two, two, two that gives you what you need, the messages that you need to see, that you need to hear, so that you can take all the little pieces and put it together. And what's coming together with this, what's happening with this equinox is, it's a harmonic dance. The universe has been working on this for a long time, making sure that everything is in its place, working on the divine feminine side, making sure divine feminine is doing what she needs to be doing, working on divine masculine, making sure divine masculine is doing what he needs to be doing. And then the energy in between, okay, in between the two. So, and that, so that's a lot to coordinate. It's a very complicated and complex an elaborate journey, but yet oh so beautiful. Because whether or not Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine actually ever come into union, the healing journeys on both sides are what's really important here. So, but I do feel like the universe is consp is, is there's a plan. We'll just say that. Trust that there is a plan. And the universe is conspiring in our favor. I just saw 404. I keep seeing it. I keep seeing numbers like that. 202, 303, 404, 505. Okay, 707, a lot. Um, I've been seeing numbers like that a lot. So... It's all about bringing the two sides together in perfect harmony, as with the yin-yang. This was my first clue that I received that this was happening. While I was in Salt Lake, I just saw 444. I was walking alongside the road with my daughter and <clears throat> I looked down, and okay, Salt Lake, if you've ever been there, you'll know 
that it is impeccably clean. It's a big giant city, but the fact, like, I'll give it to it to, to them. They keep they keep that city clean, manicured. You can tell that their ordinances on on littering and and manicuring the property is strict. I happened to look down and see this feather. This was the only feather I saw the entire time I was there. And it is a black and white feather. It caught my eye. It was the only one I saw. And I just happened to come across it. This was my first clue. That this equinox was impacting the twin flame soulmate energy. It reminded me of the yin yang with the black and the white. And then, actually before I went down there, I ordered this stone. This is a sun stone, moonstone combination. It's both in one. Like the yin yang. The sun and the moon in one. The powers of the the sunstone and the powers of the moonstone all rolled up into one extremely powerful and potent little crystal here. So guess what? Guess what Sarah's going to be carrying around with her? <laughs> this one. Right here. It brings balance. It brings harmony. It brings peace. It's this, the light and the dark working cohesively together in perfect harmony. If you can get a hold of one of these, you should do that. Um, I posted this on my community tab, and in the comments, there is a link to the Etsy shop where I found this. It, there, this one was $12. I think she has them listed at $12, and it's a good size little palm stone here. Okay, so this got this was this this clicked in today for me that this the when I'm drawn to a specific crystal, there's a reason for it, and I usually get, am drawn to it. Spirit will bring it to my attention, or bring it across my table, so to speak, <clears throat> for a reason, and um they will literally tell me, get this one. And I'm like, okay, well, it's pretty. All right, I'll do that. Sun, moonstone, cool. I have never heard of it. I've always just seen them separate. And so I got this. And then it came in right before I went to Salt Lake. And I took it down there with me. It didn't click in until today. Boom. Why? And this right here is why. This Equinox Energy. This yin yang, sun and moon, equinox, balancing energy that we are currently experiencing. So that popped your girl's brain. So first I find this black and white feather. And then I'm carrying this thing around with me. Ordered it, carrying it around with me and didn't even know why. Until today. It clicked in. Because I was sitting here and I took my... I took this Veritas deck, okay, created by the Spiritual Gangsta, by the way. You can find his links to his deck shop on his channel. And I started, I just started shuffling out some cards. And what came out was these two right here. The magician and the alchemist. In this, in this card in particular, the magician is a feminine and the alchemist is male, masculine. And I heard this is the divine couple. This is this is what spirit wanted to talk about. And so then at that point, I went ahead and dug out. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. And then I also dug out the High Priestess. 
right? And then Spirit showed me this one in my mind's eye, and I dug that out. The adapting card for Divine Masculine. So, Divine Feminine has the gift of heightened intuition, compassion, creativity, and receiving. She is nurturing. She's caring. She's, she's willing to pour from her cup. She's open to receive just as much as she's willing to give. Divine Feminine is also the High Priestess. And so the High Priestess and the Alchemist are, to me, the divine couple along with the Emperor Empress, right? Because to be divine, you're tapped and tuned in. So the High Priestess, She's psychic. She gets her downloads. She's tapped in. She has a spiritual connection and x-ray vision. Okay? Meaning see, she can see through anyone's bullshit. Right? You cannot lie to the high priestess. She has... She, she is the keeper of the secrets of the collective unconscious. She's been, this, this is Persephone energy. I've been picking up on Persephone a lot. Persephone survived hell and escaped the gates of hell with the secrets that she keeps quiet. That's what she keeps in her scroll. In a typical high priestess deck card, it's got the two pillars, the black one and the white one, the dark and the light, because she knows both worlds. She knows the dark world, the underworld, and she knows the, this world, the, uh, the light, where the light is. The alchemist, okay, so for Divine Masculine, he is the giver, or I'm sorry, the gifts of taking action and fruition. So he's got the gift of taking action and bringing things into fruition. Basically the Midas touch, turning lead into gold, along with this alchemist energy. He's ta he takes charge, he takes control. This, he's, this is emperor energy, transmuting energy. So Divine Masculine knows how to turn a negative into a positive. And then in adventure and logic. Very smart. Always using, always thinking. Okay. Always the Divine Masculine is very logical. Very educated. Okay. Divine Masculine is no dummy. Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine have both been through it. Okay, they, they get put through the most. That's how you ascend to Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Emperor, Empress status. You get put through the most. You get tested. You go through your lessons. And you learn from those lessons. And we ascend He's also an adventurer, okay? He wants to go out and explore. He's exploratory. He wants to know more. He craves information. And he wants to share that, his knowledge. He's also an alchemist, a powerful magician. It says powerful growth through trials. Master, transmuter, and skilled warrior. He's a warrior. He's fought his way to the top. He's learned his lessons. He 
he's got armor on in this picture, but he knows when he can take it off. He's skilled. He's smart. He's a master transmuter. He has learned and mastered how to turn negatives into a positive, into something that's going to work out well for him in his favor. And this is, he, he's been adapting. This has been, he's catching up to the divine feminine. He's now thinking outside the box. He's evolving. He's transforming. Changing it up. Divine Masculine is realizing just how powerful of an alchemist he really is. He's realizing that his world is what he makes it. He's thinking outside the box. He's thinking of all he's exploring with this adventurer okay he's exploring other ways to bring his blessings into him how to literally turn lead into gold he's thinking outside the box he's becoming more open-minded rather than being so rigid with confinements and and rules and this is how we do it He's adapting. He's adapting to a new way. A new way of doing things. Thinking outside the box. He's evolving. Divine Feminine has been in her magician, her alchemist energy already. She's also a master manifester, but she knows how to co-create with the divine. Alchemy, intentions, and energy work. She knows, she knows how to set her intentions and, and manifest to make her blessings come in. They each have a different way of doing it. But you get these, you get divine masculine and divine feminine together, and that is an unstoppable power couple that nobody will be able to match. These two right here. I have the sun and the moon card out here because of the light and the dark. This is masculine energy with the sun, divine feminine energy with the moon, okay? They balance each other out. They're opposites. And in these types of connections, it really is the opposites attract situation. And in between them, I have the justice card. There's that balance. There's this Libra season energy. There's this equinox energy right here. I'm also getting the balancing your heart against a feather. Measuring your heart against a feather. Anubis. We are all being asked to purge and shed and cleanse, and detoxify, and adapt, change things so that we can make our heart as light as a feather. We have to do, we have to make sure that we do it ourselves before we get in front of Anubis to do it for us. So, I also have the tower here. There, this is a faded meeting between the two of you. 
when you guys met or if you guys are due to meet, if you haven't met your twin flame or soulmate yet, it's going to happen like a tower. It's going to happen suddenly. It's just going to come out of fucking nowhere. This is a good tower. I was pulling some cards earlier and the tower was the first card out of this deck here. The Veritas deck. It said tower moment and then all these beautiful things came out, which led me here. I actually still have it all here, right on top. Show you. Tower moment. Good health. High vibes. Good news. Messages. There's the secrets, the mystery, right? The things that are have yet to be realized, okay? And the divine intervention. That's what, and then the magician and this alchemist card all came out behind this tower moment. So I went ahead and pulled the tower. And I was drawn to the crows this morning. When I pulled this out, this is a, this was a faded meeting. It was destined. And I feel like with this tower here now, it's indicating a shift. It's a change, massive change. Something has, is changing here. This connections, these connections are elevating because divine masculine is finally starting to click in. If you're a masculine, just reverse the roles. I was also guided to pull out all of the kings and the queens from every element. Queens, kings. I have the king and queen of swords, the king and queen of pentacles, king and queen of cups, king and queen of wands. The reason why I was instructed to pull these out is because of the elementals. We don't, we have to work through and master each of these energies. While we're in separation. In order to, in order to ascend to emperor, empress status. This is, this is our, where our, our healing and our growth and our lessons we have to master each of these separately in order to ascend to the divine, divine feminine, divine masculine energies. I also was guided to pull out the emperor, um, sorry, the high priestess and the magician. The reason why I was guided to the crows is because in this deck, the high priestess has also all four, the pentacle, the cup, the wand, the sword, same as the magician. She has all the tools, all of the elementals at their, at her disposal, as well as the magician. They both have the elements, air, earth, water, fire, at their disposal to aid in their manifestations. This right here is the divine couple. The magician and the high priestess, both highly psychic, tapped in, tuned in. And they both have all the elements necessary. They have mastered each of these lessons. This equinox energy is also bringing an energy of duality. 
being able to use both the sun and the moon, our masculines and our our, our light and our dark cohesively, our masculine and feminine energies cohesively. Okay. So that union can take place. I also pulled out the two of cups and the soulmate card. The healing caduces there. Okay. This is healing. It, it's a healing process. This tower, you guys, the twin flame soulmates meet for a reason. And it's a catalyst for change. So healing can take place between the two. Oftentimes in, while in separation. Soulmate, harmonious partnership, deep affinity, undeniable connection, and a kindred spirit. I also pulled out the lovers with the twin flame card. Okay. Twin flame is mirrored souls, intense soul connection, magnetic attraction, and catalyst. So whichever one you resonate with, take it. Okay. I have them both here. Whichever connection you label your connection as. The journey is the same. It just depends on what word you like to use. That you could call it a divine, a deep soul connection, even, or even um, I've heard them called uh, kingdom spouses. Okay, whatever you call it. This equinox energy is impacting them. These types of connections. I cut the deck on this Veritas and cut it straight to this marriage card. That's a commitment. An intimate union, vows, contract, a mutual agreement, and a promise. And then triumph is right underneath it. A successful union. I'm telling you. There's going to about to be a lot of twin flame soulmate deep soul bond unions taking place. At the bottom uh, at the bottom of this crow deck, I have the eight of wands. That's forward movement and also a lot of communication. And also that's eight rods of passion right there that's a lot of passion that's a lot of boom boom <laughs> things could get real hot and steamy when union happens here or reunion i also have the six of cups behind the eight of wands forward movement in this past life or past connection okay they're up in the air, going through a portal, getting ready to go through a portal. And if you look at that portal, there's three letters. It says G-O-D right there. Okay. It, this is a divine union. I cut the deck. His star. It's I just heard it's written in the stars. And then the strength is behind it. This is a strong divine connection that is undeniable. And that both divine masculine and divine feminine manifested. I had to get this out. I had to. With the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands, this is where we, this is where our passions lie. This is where the attraction is, the chemistry. Okay. The King and Queen of Cups. 
This is where the heart comes in. This is the water, okay? Obviously, the king and queen of wands is the fire, right? And I went ahead and pulled some stones that I've been drawn to. For the fire element, I'm drawn to the citrine. This one in particular is a Congo citrine. It's very clear, and it's got some rainbow in it. Rainbow flashes. There's one. For the fire element, citrine. Mine in particular that I'm drawn to, that I hold on to, is the Congo citrine. For the water, okay, this is where the heart, the heart, the feelings come into play. This is where feelings are expressed. And for the, for the water element, I'm drawn to my orca agate. It's very watery. It's very cleansing. Ooh, just holding it, I felt a rush. It felt like water just rushing over my body. Orca agate. The king and queen of pentacles. They're both well-established. They know they're independent. Okay, they don't need each other for anything financially. Okay, they can de they depend on themselves. They don't need a partner to help them pay the bills, right? They're well established and can take care of their self. And for the earth energy, it's this sardonyx that I ordered recently. I ordered it actually at the same time as this sun moonstone from a different Etsy shop. But with all these layers, it's very it's it looks like an agate. And it's just, it's very grounding. It's very earthy. And then you got the king and queen of swords. This is about how we think about things, how we process things, how we, how we react to things. This is the energy that will relate to the reading I did last. I just saw 3223. That's called a palindrome. Anyways, those are fives. Big changes on both sides. The King and Queen of Swords, also about how we communicate. How we communicate ourselves, how we communicate our feelings. How we react to situations around us. That's our logic. And for the air element, I have Labradorite. See if I can get it to do the thing. Oop, almost. Anyway, you guys know what Labradorite looks like. My lighting, there it goes. My lighting in here is dark. Labradorite. Okay, I was drawn to the Labradorite for the air element because Labradorite represents the Northern Lights. 3333. I feel like Ascended Masters for both Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine are at play here. Um, I want to go ahead and get some messages from my Ravens and Roses deck. Cut the deck to together, resolving to make things work between you. That's right. And look, direction right here. The compass rose was a big deal yesterday. That's the elements. Each element, air, earth, water, fire, has a place north, south, east, west. Earth was north. I believe water is west. Um, I believe fire is east and air is south. The fire and air could be switched. It, don't quote me on that. But the compass rose, the direction, being guided by our ascended masters, by our angels, by the archangels, by the divine. 
forging a path forward despite the obstacles. And that's how these unions come in. That's how they come together. Because they both divine masculine and divine feminine press on regardless of the obstacles standing in the way. Because they're both warriors. To come together. To be together. To not worry about what the rest of the world thinks about it. Because at the end of the day, all that matters about, the, about a relationship is the two people in it. Those are the only opinions that matter when it comes to a relationship. Is the two people that are in it. Resolving to make things work together between you. Okay. Yeah, we cut the deck to ascension. There's absolutely an ascension here. Your spirits are joined on a higher level. This is, these are past life relationships. These are relationships that, partnerships that have come together. You guys find each other in every single lifetime. And it comes in like a tower. This is someone that comes across, comes through your world all of a sudden. Just all of a sudden they come out of left field. Boom, there they are. And you feel like you've known them before. They're a complete stranger, but you feel like you're familiar with them. That's this kind of connection. Yeah, and then I've got reflection right here. Seeing the shadow side of yourself in your partner. Again, with the yin and the yang. Mirrored souls. Reflecting back to each other. My view on twin flame and soulmate connections are a little different than what's out there in YouTube land. My take on it is that each one is a complete and whole soul and person on our own. It's a simil it's the same vibration. It's the same frequency of soul. It matches. But this is about reflecting and seeing, seeing yourself in your partner, in your person. And then I've got reunite right here. I'm telling you, if you know this person already, reunification, coming together to strengthen your bond. And... That might just be me, but don't those look like butterfly wings right there? There's been transformation here. And transformation, yeah, there's a butterfly right there. Transformation had to happen. We meet, and then we separate. So that all this ascension can take place. And I'm catch this blue moon right here is catching my eye, okay? This last blue super moon that we had was significant. Those are butterfly wings right there. On a crow. On a raven. Never seen that before. Huh. That's cool. Thank you, spirit. It's a transformative process that's meant to happen. Building a solid foundation, a happy home, happy life, happy family. Four wands. Building a happy home and family together. What else? Let's see. 
cut the deck to the goddess card. Okay. Affirming the sacred feminine in yourself. And then underneath her is the journey card. Traveling the same spiritual path together. Gorgeous. It is a hell of a journey. It really is. Anything else, Spirit? I just went through that whole deck. Fulfill. Okay? Trying to satisfy every need for each other. Okay? Looking out for each other. Making sure that you're happy. Making sure needs are fulfilled and needs are met. Because it's a precious gift. A connection like this. Not everybody has connections like this. You are a gift to each other to be cherished. And that's damn right. And I got sincerity right here. It says, make sure that you both are being authentic. And I'm drawn to this string of pearls right here. The string of pearls. We get a pearl every time we do a deep dive and, and heal a trauma or a hurt that's deep down in our heart. Being authentic, showing up, not hiding things, okay, showing up authentically with pearls, with pearls on display. Proving and showing that healing work has been done. And then I've got big love. This is the one you have both been waiting for. Yeah. Renewal. Okay. We've got reunite and renewal out here. It says reconnecting after a breakup or starting over. For some of you, this is a new person that will come in. For some of you, or you haven't, because you haven't met your person. For some of you, you have met this person. And what's going to happen is they're going to come in under a new energy. And it's all because of the ebb and flow. Look at this shit. I just cut the deck again. It's all about being in the flow. Allowing room... Oh, I'm sorry, allowing each other the room to grow in love. Giving each other the space to evolve. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. This is a very special type of connection. And the divine works is working hard to make sure that these connections come together. The divine works hard on divine feminine, works hard on divine masculine, so that union can take place. I just saw 43, 43, that's 7, 7. I've been seeing a lot of 7s. We have to grow... We have to grow through our evolution and learn, find balance, be okay with the light and the dark, working on our flaws, learn how to transmute, turning a negative into a positive, realizing that you both have the power to manifest great things. You have the power of the elements at your disposal. Cups for water, wands for fire, swords for air, pentacles for earth. Air, earth, fire, water. You get to ascend through the kings and the queens. 
to get to Emperor, Empress, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine status. And it's oftentimes painful, but the end result is union. And that will make it all worth it. It's all about to balance out. This equinox energy is bringing the sun and the moon, divine masculine, divine feminine together in perfect harmony. And that's where I want to leave this one. These are the messages that needed to come out. I love you guys. Hang in there. Keep working on you. Work on yourself. Work on, work on you for you. Union will take place when the time is right. Both, both of, both my, both masculine and feminine both have to be doing the work. And I feel like masculines are catching up. I love you guys. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace, love, and light.